Welcome to Production Expert, my name is Dan Cooper. In this series, we're taking a look at Waveship's Omni Channel. In the first episode, I gave you a very quick overview of what this plugin has to offer. If you haven't seen that yet, be sure to check that out. In this video, we're going to mix some drums. <laughs> Okay, it sounds pretty good out of the box. Let's hear how we can improve on it using this, the Shep's Omni Channel. Now, let's start with a kick drum. Let's start with some compression. I'm gonna put this before the EQ. I'm gonna put it on FET. FETs generally lend themselves quite well to kicks. Now, for the most part, the level is compensated for when you play around with dynamics in Omni, uh, which is very helpful because generally when you compress things, the output sinks, which can make it a bit difficult to really hear what you're doing. Now this pretty much keeps the level at the same loudness, which is nice. That's doing a pretty good job out of the box. Let's have a play around now with the EQ. Let's engage that. Feel like we can bring the click out a little bit. nice sounds nice let's have a little play with the pre i'm gonna put that after the eq a bit of saturation and a bit of thump okay we are adding quite a bit of a uh, level here let's just balance that down here on the output definitely got a little bit more presence than before. Very nice, now let's move across to the snare drum. Let's try a different approach. Let's start with some saturation for color. Let's put it on heavy, hear how that sounds. Yeah, that's all right. Again, let's just go straight for some compression. Gonna keep it simple. Fet again. It's catching a bit too much. Let's try VCA. They're generally a little bit cleaner. Sounds nice. Can't really argue with that. Let's have a little listen to the floor tom. Put that in isolation. You can hear the head resonating away there with the rest of kit playing. Let's jump in on the gates. Set a threshold. Let's play that tom back. It's working, so the signal's going past the threshold, opening the gate, but it's closing a little bit too quickly. So let's just lengthen the release time. Maybe a touch too long. As I said, we could use the side chain to hone this a little bit more if we wish. Something like that could work well. Very nice. Now let's move across to the drum bus. And again, let's use another instance of Shep's Omni Channel. Here, what we can do just to sweeten the drums ever so slightly. Now we could employ the Deessa. See what we can do with it. Now if we needed to, we can just listen to what we're processing here. Let's have a listen to hear how the main symbol sounds. Say so something around there could definitely be reduced ever so slightly. Let's adjust the threshold. Don't want to go too mad. If you use too much DS often, it can harm the track more than heal it. Let's put a little bit of compression on this now. Just a touch. Just to glue it together. Don't want it to catch too much, so let's adjust the attack. 
slow that down to let the transients through. Maybe a touch of saturation as well, just for colour. Okay, let's put it back in with the rest of the mix. Yeah, sounds good. Might just lower the level of the kick ever so slightly. Yeah, I'm happy with that. In the next video, we're going to be taking a look at mixing the bass guitar and the two electric guitars. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.